Hey, it's Lauren. Today we're gonna to be talking about Make Beauty's new mascara that they just launched, Lash Prototype. This is $26 and it comes in a very luxurious, heavy metal tube. It has a traditional wand, kind of that teddy bear style, and they claim this is volumizing, lengthening, buildable. Um, so let's kind of chit chat and I'll apply some of this for you. So when you take this out of the tube, it is very, very heavily coated with product. So I have found I have to really, really, really wipe this off. Um, I feel like the stopper on this just really is not catching enough of that product. And so like I'm trying to wipe it off and it's just like globbing up in here. There's just too much product on this wand, unfortunately. Let's get into the application of this. I'm going to apply this for you the way that I apply all of my mascaras. I don't curl my lashes because most mascaras, once I start putting them on, lift my lashes so sky high, and then I tend to run into more issues with transfer and that sort of thing. So let me go ahead and start applying this. Keep in mind, I did wipe off the brush a ton. All right, so there is one coat, a very light coat of this. I'm gonna put some on my other eye. I'm not redipping my brush because it just takes entirely too long to wipe it all off. And then it's just like a ton of product sitting in that little nozzle. You can see I'm getting like a little Clump. All right, so there's one coat on each eye. The first thing I'm going to tell you about this, aside from the wiper, you can even see how much product came off of that wand. Aside from the wiper not catching, look how much product is in there, from catching much product um, as it comes out of the tube, this formula is extremely wet. I'm honestly going to try to like scoop out some of this from this little stopper. I'm um, actually, I'm going to get a Q-tip because it's just, it's completely blocked. There's so much product there that the wiper um, is not catching. So as you can see, this is one coat and it looks very soft and pretty. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat. I'm going to really, really wipe off my wand again. <laughs> Look at that, it just like globs on there. It's just kind of hard to get it all off. <sighs> all right, second coat. Let's start at the base again, kind of wiggle through. And as you can see, it's really kind of sticking some of my lashes together, which is not something I love. All right, so that's a second coat on this eye and we'll do a second coat over here. It's doing the same thing here where it like sticks my lashes together because this formula is so, so wet. I'm gonna go try to find a lash comb, hold on. I tried to kind of separate them, but as you can see, even after I've separated them, those lashes are so heavy and wet from the product that they start kind of pinching and squishing and falling together. Um, and the other issue I have with this is if I make any like mascara bumps on my skin, I can't really just flake them off. But then if you try to wipe them when they're wet, you end up with a big smudge. The other thing I will say about this mascara that I've run into is transfer issues. I've had transfer up on my brow bone from this. I didn't even put any on my lower lashes today because without fail, every single time I have worn this, 
I end up with little dots under my eyes. And just to make sure I wasn't imagining things, I didn't put on any eyeliner when I wore this and I still had like little dots. The other thing I will say that I feel like I have taken from this experience is that anytime I see volumizing listed as an attribute of a formula, I feel like that is like a keyword for potentially clumping chunky lashes. And here's my thought behind it. When I look for a formula, I oftentimes will look for defining, lengthening. And the reason that I look for something that says defining over volumizing, defining to me is going to coat each individual lash and really start to separate them. Whereas volumizing a lot of times means that the formula itself is really bulky and it's going to like kind of stick your lashes together to make them look more volumized but it's not actually like fanning out your lashes and making them look thicker. Does that make sense? Because it makes sense in my brain and my experience has been that my lashes look 10 times better when I go for formulas that are not like volumizing as like the first attribute about them. So unfortunately, Lash Prototype is a pass for me, which is like such a sad thing to say because I love make products. I'm actually wearing several right now. I'm wearing the Continuum Eyeliner. I'm wearing the Diffusion Set Powder. I'm wearing a layer of shock layer on my lips. Um, I really do love make makeup, but this just misses the mark for me. And honestly, kind of like sitting back for a second, it doesn't look bad, but I just feel like it takes entirely too much work to get my lashes to look good from getting the product off of the wand, initially pulling it out of the tube to being paranoid all day that it's going to transfer around my eyes. And then having the issue of it just being so wet that it just like wants to re-stick to itself on other lashes. It's just very tedious trying to wear this. And honestly, I have several other mascaras at this point in time that I don't have to like fuss with when I'm putting it on um, and they last all day. So unfortunately, Lash Prototype is a miss for me. I hate saying that. I hope this was helpful though. And especially if you've been curious about this mascara because it is not a cheap mascara. Um, so if this was helpful in any way, please make sure to give it a little thumbs up. It does help other people find this video and my channel. And if you want to see more reviews like this from me, make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.